Hello and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go from HoneySwap, which is on the XDAI chain, to PancakeSwap, which is on the Binance Smart Chain. If you haven't already configured your MetaMask wallet, I've made a page here on GIST, um, aligning all the uh, MetaMask settings that are needed, and this will be in the description below. So stay tuned on how we're going to do this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go to MetaMask here, and let's connect our account. Okay, so now that we have our account connected to HoneySwap, um and you have your balance here we're going to try to get to pancake swap so the way we got to do this is we need to go to a bridge that wraps our ethereum so wrap.eth.com provided by raid guild these guys are amazing amazing developers what we need to do is we need to wrap our x die first so they become wrapped x die I just had to hit refresh here and my balance is showing up. So let's do a hundred here. And actually that won't work. So I have to do 99 so I can have some for gas fees. Okay, so it appears our transaction now has gone through. So now we've officially wrapped our X die, but now we need to add the token because it's not showing up here. So we gotta add this address here. This will also be in the description below. This is the address we're gonna be wanting to add. Okay, and we don't want this transactions obviously here. And we don't want this either. <laughs> there we go. So we got wrapped XI now, and we're gonna add our tokens. So now uh, you can see here 99x uh, wrapped x die, 1x die remaining. And what we want to do is we want to go to component finance. So this will also be in the link below. And we want to add our MetaMask wallet here. And what we want to do is we want to go to swap. Okay. There we go. So now we have 99 X die, and I can get one for one for USDP. Okay, so I, I'm going to change it. Uh, I'm going to go from wrap X die to die BSC. And uh, here we're just going to put in our value. Okay, it looks like uh, I'm going to lose 20 cents, but you know how it is. You got to do it for the fans. Okay, so let's just approve our transaction here. Okay, and confirm this. And there we go. That's all done. Okay, and now I'm going to hit execute because we got to do it twice. Uh, let's just take a look here. Swap successful. Okay, so now we should have the appropriate balances the token here. So we're just going to add another custom token. This is still in the XDAI chain. As you guys can see, this is the BSC die on the XDAI chain. I know this gets a bit confusing, but just keep following along. I swear it will be easy. After we have added our token here, as you guys can see, we got 98.801 die. This is the BSC die. So now we want to go to BSC um, Text I Omni Bridge. Uh, this is also in the description below. So what I want to do is I want to paste the token address that I just used to add the token on my MetaMask. And this will also be in the description. And what we're going to do here now is we're just going to wait for this address to load. All right, so here we go. And it found my die. So I'm just loading the die now. Okay, so now 
what we want to do is we want to hit request. Now, before we do this, I want to state that you need to have some BNB tokens within your MetaMask wallet. So in the previous tutorial, if you haven't followed that, I show how you're going to get BNB tokens. Um, so you still need some BNB tokens to go from XI to Binance chain. And where our balance is. And what we're going to do now is we are going to go from DAI token on XDAI to DAI token on the Binance Smart Chain. So that's where it got a little bit confusing at the start there. But uh, don't fear or don't fret at all. Because um, right now, this is how we're going to go into Binance Smart Chain. So we're going to hit request. So DAI on XDAI and DAI. And then we're, there's some bridging fees there. Very, very little bridging fees. We're going to hit confirm. And we're going to wait for these uh, block confirmations to go through. All right. Now that the block confirmations went through, we have to switch over our network. So we're going to go up top here, MetaMask. And we're going to click on Binance. Okay. Now that we're switching, now we got to claim them. So let's hit claim here. Let's just leave it at 10 then. Okay, let's wait for this execution now. Okay, so now it appears that the transaction went through on the Binance chain. So if we go to PancakeSwap now, we should be able to look at our DAI. Give it a second here to load. Okay, now that our, uh, our bridging all came through. You guys can see now I'm officially on PancakeSwap and I have 98.7031 die remaining. So I literally have spent um, $1.30 to bridge from L2 to L2 without ever touching any Ethereum network. And that's pretty much how it's done, guys. Um, now you can just do any kind of trading you want. Um, let's say, for example, I want to buy some Cardano. Um, I'm going to hit swap here and confirm. Okay, this is for you, Charles. Okay, there we go. I hope Charles is happy now. And that's pretty much it. We've officially gone from the XDAI chain all the way to the Binance Smart Chain. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as I'm going to have new videos coming out soon. Hope to catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.